Why would Elon Musk and SpaceX be despised in the United States? What wrongdoing has Elon Musk committed against the US government officials? Musk may have certain government officials who are envious of him for no reason. Perhaps they haven't seen someone with such a strong drive as Elon Musk. If they follow him to finally travel to Mars and conquer it, he will have the power to impact the entire world. Stick around to find out the clique of the US government officials that is frustrating Elon's struggle about launching the Starship to Mars. It's true that if you have enemies that hate you so much, you won't be able to advance or succeed in your quest to become who you were meant to be unless your enemies were destroyed. He's about to create his world on Mars and perhaps set his government and military over there. Mortal humans on Earth, including prominent government officials who worship and kiss his feet. And this is something those certain top secret US officials do not want to happen. Hence, this is the only chance for the mischievous US government officials to make sure that SpaceX never have the opportunity to travel to space. That is why they can embark on whatever means possible to cripple SpaceX and Elon Musk now. Elon Musk and SpaceX have been grinding hard to ensure the Starship successfully lifts itself from the Earth's surface into orbit. However, because of persisting underground jealousy and corruption in US politics, government officials may have prepared backdoor blackmail to deter SpaceX's growth and Elon Musk's aim of landing on Mars. Previously, Musk said on Twitter that political assaults on him will rise drastically in the coming months. Now, watch their dirty tricks campaign against me unfold, Musk tweeted along with a popcorn emoji. Musk's comments come after a bombshell exposing how his aerospace company SpaceX paid a flight attendant $250,000 to settle a sexual misconduct claim against a billionaire. Interestingly, the lady herself is not mentioned in the tweet. The lady in question is an attendant who worked for SpaceX's corporate aircraft fleet as a cabin crew member on a contract basis. Musk was accused of showing his erect private part to her, massaging her leg without her permission and proposing to buy her a horse in exchange for an erotic massage, according to her. The incident occurred in 2016, according to a document submitted by an attendant's friend to support her claim. According to the declaration, the flight attendant told a friend that once she got the position as a flight attendant, she was pushed to earn a massage certification so she could provide Musk massages. Musk propositioned her during one of these massages in a private cabin aboard Musk's Gulfstream, she told a friend. And no doubt, this is a blatant allegation raised against Musk. You won't go wrong if you call it a setup. Musk wrote Insider after being approached for comment, requesting additional time to answer. He said that, If I were inclined to engage in sexual harassment, this is unlikely to be the first time in my 30-year career that it comes to light, he wrote, calling the story a politically motivated hit piece. Elon Musk took to Twitter to hit a woman who accused him of sexually harassing her friend aboard his private jet in 2016. About seven hours after the piece was published, Musk responded to a Twitter user who wrote, Where were these wild accusations against at Elon Musk before he took his stand against the establishment? Exactly, Musk tweeted, adding that the wild accusations were untrue. But I have a challenge to this liar who claims their friend saw me exposed described just one thing, anything at all, scars, tattoos, that isn't known by the public. Musk tweeted, she won't be able to do so because it never happened. Musk described the woman's friend who had a talk with Insider as a far left activist or actress in Los Angeles with a serious political bone to grind. So you see what the dirty politics comes from now? It's simple. As soon as someone who has been elevated and glorified by the society is painted black or accused, a large number of people will get curious and seek to learn the truth and many people withdraw themselves throughout the process of resolving doubts. Basically, the allegation was politically fueled to reduce the support of people for Elon's mask project. This doesn't stop and his subsequent tweet must continue to reject claims that he exposed himself to a flight attendant by stating that he doesn't utilize flight attendants on his own jets and doesn't serve. In fact, in his words, he said, many people will note that I don't use a flight attendant, the world's, and I reply to a new story about the harassment scandal, adding that only fruit and nuts are stocked on the plane. I use flights as an opportunity to be fast. Musk has not denied that his company SpaceX paid the lady $250,000 thousand dollars plus a non-disclosure clause and he has not explained why. After all, Musk just declared that he is forming a legal team that will report to him 
and that he wants street warriors. More importantly in this scenario, the company president actively supports Elon Musk over the accusations, stating that the accusation was only put out to damage the honor of Musk and the corporation of SpaceX. And Elon, who knew what was going on, had to step out and clear the air, and tweeted again that the attacks against me should be viewed through a political lens. This is their standard despicable playbook, but nothing will deter me from fighting for a good future and your right for free speech. And he went on to claim in another tweet, there's nothing to report in my 30 year career, including the whole Me Too period, but as soon as I announce I intend to return free speech to Twitter and vote Republican, everything changes. Musk has already announced his attempt to purchase Twitter, promising to make it an open platform for free expression of speech, including restoring access to former President Donald Trump. For others in the Republican Party, he's become a hero. Conservatives hailed his $144 billion effort to take Twitter private, claiming it would stop the bias they believe social media companies have against them. The idea of a three-letter government agency prohibiting Elon Musk, the world's richest man from doing anything he wants, may sound like a bureaucrat's nightmare. This is the same person who won authority to send a Tesla into space, renamed a street rocket road and ignored coronavirus laws when he believed they were impeding his company. However, Musk's ambitious schedule for launching Starship, his dream rocket, from a remote area in Texas is now dependent on a pending decision and permit by the Federal Aviation Administration which may add months if not years of delaying the permit. Musk would not be able to bulldoze through this type of restriction. He does have one advantage that few other executives have. When he speaks, people listen, which alone is becoming a source of frustration for the government. Musk is currently at a crossroads in his career. This year may be the year he smooths out yet another twist in his deep space venture, or it could be the year he loses momentum. However, SpaceX is currently confronted with some severe challenges, not all of which are technological. The FAA must grant SpaceX a launch license before attempting to fly Starship into orbit for the first time. The federal government is assessing the possible environmental implications of SpaceX's Starship, lands in South Texas, and will determine whether to approve the project or request a more thorough and time-consuming assessment. And in line with the approval, an accusation has been laid to get him confused or perhaps get him to lose focus on his ambition of landing on the Martian surface and finally abandon his Mars project crash or sell it to China since the fast language speaking country has been interested in SpaceX right from time. For more than a decade, SpaceX has been launching rockets into space. Still, Starship is the company's most complex project ever. Musk and SpaceX have built a space town around the Gulf of Mexico region recently, buying property, building new facilities, and even posting a job listing for a spaceport mixologist. Musk even relocated to a neighboring village after evicting some locals. Boca Chica is practically unrecognizable today, compared to its pre-Musk state, a peaceful seaside paradise transformed into a busy cosmic shipyard. The Starship prototype at the exhibition's focus isn't the first one created by SpaceX, and it won't be the last. SpaceX will continue to fire up these prototypes until one of them survives and the company is confident in its ability to launch a spacecraft into orbit, loop it around Earth and return it to Earth. Then SpaceX will begin allowing passengers on board. Is the US government chasing SpaceX and Elon Musk like witch hunters? Do you remember FAA's desperate decision to stop SpaceX when they put Cosmo SkyMed under investigation? Click on this video to know more about this.